Hey, in this tutorial we'll possibly discover some new fascinating things about math and fractals and maybe a new blender. It was the year of 2018 when I first discovered this effect. Since way earlier, I knew it was possible to make intricate fractals using Chaos Game with just a few rules. I even built an extended computer program implement this to learn something new from it. Let's start with an example. The rules are simple. You pick three points. An equilateral triangle sure will work best, but really it doesn't matter. Then you do iterations and pick a random point out of the three during each iteration. You travel half the distance to the point, mark a dot and continue to the next iteration. You continue doing that for many times until you start seeing the emerging pattern of Serpinski Triangle. And you may question yourself, what exactly is causing this factor? Yes, it's half the distance factor, the number of points, and the fact that we are doing it only in increments of the same factor. So, even if we start outside the triangle at all, or in the middle of it, the point will converge or it will be attracted to the increments grid that looks like Sierpinski triangle. If we pick one third the distance or two thirds the distance, the little triangles will become smaller, move away from each other, or the opposite, they'll move towards each other and start overlapping. If we change the number of points, the bigger shape will change and it will look the same as every next shape composing it. So, now that you understand this, you can understand the background that I had that would make me try and play with all this in Blender notes and intuition that guide me to make that. We have a cube. Let's add a check architecture, another one with twice the scale, multiply them together, repeat this process a dozen times, plug the result into the strength of the emission shader and beforehand, multiply it by some number, say 2 or 5, plug the emission shader output into the volume socket of the material output. Ok, since I'm using EV and volumetric emission is for some reason bugged in EV, I'll switch to volume scatter, but this will work for you in cycles, either way. Have your Serpinski gasket fresh out of the oven. Now, is there any way we can get a 2D slice in the shape of a plane with a Serpinski triangle on it? Sure. Let's just slice the cube and make it plain right where it crosses the edge of one of these gaskets. And we can see the edge lies through these middle points. Let's join them together and dissolve the rest of the faces. There you go! You made a volumetric Sierpinski gasket and a Sierpinski triangle with a custom amount of iterations all in one go. As a bonus, watch the footage of me making the Sierpinski triangle the usual quote fair and quote way. Guys, I assume you don't need to be told to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you want to support the channel and stay notified about new coming tutorials, so I won't say that. 